It's time for six-figure trucking period number 35. Let's take a look at my compensation as a W-2 company driver. First, I want to talk about my logs for the week. I was paid for 3,910 dispatched miles. I had 3,615 logged miles. My utilization this week was 109%. The day in orange, I was on a paid 34-hour reset. My unedited pay statement for period 36 of 2024. This includes all trips from August 25th to August 31st. Empty miles paid $99. Securement paid $30. Hazmat miles paid $34. Insurance cash out paid $300. Loaded miles paid $2,426. And stops paid $390. Total earnings for this week was $3,279. 36 weeks into the year, my gross income is $75,401. And I've driven 97,085 miles. This averages out to $2,094 per week and 2,697 miles per week. Estimating that out over a year, I'm on track to earn $108,912 for 2024. Through week number 36 of 2024, 16% have been hazmat placarded miles, and I've been loaded 91% of the time. This is a map of the miles per state year to date in which I've driven. I've earned an average of 77.7 cents per mile. Here's the home time that I've taken this payroll year. I've been on home time 14 times so far this year, totaling 45 days through the end of pay period 36. I've also had 19 paid 34-hour resets on the road. I'm not paid hourly, but let's calculate this like an hourly job. For the week, my gross pay was $3,279 for 67 hours of work. If we break that down to a typical hourly job, it could be 40 regular hours, 27 hours of overtime, resulting in an effective pay rate of $41.11 per hour. However, a straight time, it'd be $49.31 per hour. Year to date, I've earned $75,401 for 1,954 hours work. Out of those hours, 1,423 would be regular time and 531 would be overtime. Calculated weekly with overtime, the effective pay rate is $33.98 per hour. However, as straight time, it's approximately $38.60 per hour. Taking a look at the if only truck drivers were paid for every hour in the truck calculation page. 36 weeks have went by so far. That totals 6,048 hours. I've been home 1,090 of those hours. That works out to 4,958 hours from the pre-trip leaving home to the post-trip returning home. My compensation through week 36 is $75,401. That works out to $15.21 per hour for every hour away from home. As always, make sure you're enjoying every day at work.